Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to add audio to video in Cakewalk Sonar X3 Producer. It will also work in the other versions of Cakewalk Sonar X3, but they have made some major improvements in the file handling of the videos in Sonar X3. So it's the preferred version to use for this. Okay, let's get started here. Um, the first thing is I have imported a file, a video file in here. I'll show you how to do that. Um, just go to File, Import, Video. And you will look for the folder where you're on your computer where the video is. In this case, it's in this folder right here, and it's this file right here. I've already imported it, so you would hit Open, and it will import it into this track right here that you see. You can also hide the thumbnails in case it's being a little too slow for your particular computer. Um, now, I have got a voiceover that I've already imported also, and I will show you how to do that. You just do the same thing, import audio, go to a file on your computer that has a voiceover, you click on it, hit open, and it will go to the track you have selected. You may need to scoot it all the way to the left or to the right to make it fit up with the video, but that's the way you do that. I also have down here a music track that I've already imported, and the same way you go to import audio, and you will go to uh, the folder that has that audio or that music track. And I'll go down here to where it is. And also select the track you want it to go to. It's in this music track here. So you'll click on it and hit open. It'll open up and go to the track that you have selected. Here I have this track selected. I've made a few edits to it so it, so it fits better with the video. And I'll show you what I've got here. What's in a name? When it comes to historic houses, oftentimes the name denotes the pedigree of ownership. So what you have is this is the voiceover track. You can adjust the volume of it. You can add compression. I've got a gate, a multiband um, compressor. Down here I've got the music track. You can edit it and do anything in the audio tracks that you do without the video up there. But the video track won't move. You have to do do the work down here because it isn't a video editing program you can't chop the video up you know if, if you come down here you'll see that I've added a string part to uh, the music nine small. it's just some small little string parts that add color to the music So that's just a little addition to the music track that's already on there. And uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, just to recap, we have added a video track by going to Import Video. And you can also replace this video track by just going to File, Import, Video. And when you select a video file, it will say, do you want me to replace this video and you just select yes and it will do that and then here is the voiceover track what's in a name when it here is the music track um, which i've added down here you have a string part that i've used with dimension pro this is the midi track that i played the string part and this is the audio track that goes with the string part by flattening or freezing the um, MIDI track, which turns it into audio. But that's another tutorial down the road. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something. And for more videos like this, you can go to cakewalktips.com. This is Danny J and we'll see you next time.